Due to his incredible strength, one-of-a-kind skill set, and body-hitting techniques, Monster Naoya Inoue is regarded as one of the most feared fighters in world boxing at the present time. Therefore, continue watching this video in order to see why he has the potential to become the face of boxing. Who exactly is this Naoya Inoue? On many people's lists of the top pound-for-pound -pound boxers working today, Noya Inoue is without a doubt considered to be one of the best fighters. But how did this Japanese boxing prodigy achieve such a high level at such a young age? During his time as an amateur, Naoya established an astonishing record of 75-6 with 48 knockout victories. Keep in mind that this is amateur boxing, where he has racked up an unbelievable number of knockouts. So, Inoue had a very uncomplicated amateur career before turning pro in 2012. The following year, with a perfect record of 5-0, he had his first fight for a world championship, which was for the WBC World Light Flyweight title against the Mexican, Adrian Hernandez. It only took him six rounds to win the fight. Since then, the monster has gone on to collect a flawless record to date and is currently a three-weight world champion at the age of 30. This is really incredible taking into account how much time he still has to contribute to the sport of boxing. Also, the Japanese superstar won the bantamweight division of the World Boxing Super Series at 118 pounds, or bantamweight, where he fought and won a memorable bout against Nonito Donaire, a former star at pound for pound and himself a knockout artist. Boxing technique used by Inoue, the fighter. Nevertheless, this does not mean that he has not put in any effort to reach the point where he is now. The Japanese great makes use of his extraordinary agility to put pressure on his opponent mostly with his jab and combo punches, in order to create openings for his famous left hook to the body, which has become his hallmark move. Following this, we'll discuss the topic in further depth. A jab that is precise and sharp. A first jab is typically what determines his success. This is perhaps the aspect of Inoue's outstanding skill set that is most underrated by the majority of those who see him. Act for his opponent. This helps him build up a stronger, more powerful jab, which in turn lets Inoue fire a straight right, hook, or uppercut on his opponent's head or high guard. Inoue will often utilize light, rapid, and soft jabs two to three at a time, a tactic that Lomachenko also loves to use. When he exerts pressure, he will also punch the body with straight blows in order to modify the rhythm of his attack. Because of this variety with his jab, his opponent is often left guessing as to what combos Inoue would fire, or how forceful a blow will be thrown. And this is where the monster will often open up for his favored and finishing left hook. Different Permutations and Combinations As was just discussed, Inoue is particularly focused on finding ways to influence his opponent's guard in order to find holes for himself. This is one area in which the Japanese boxing superstar excels, but where he really shines is in his ability to switch up the flavor for each combination he unleashes. For instance, he will alter the order in which he attacks, such as high, low, high, or low, high, low, low. He will also switch the order in which he defends himself. This action just leads his rivals to get perplexed or panicked, which results in them either raising their guard up or bringing it down. It makes no difference to Inoue which one he uses, since he is so incredibly precise whether he's throwing a body shot, which is low, or a vertical left hook, which is high. Defense that is both discreet and efficient. Although Inoue has only been properly challenged a few times, we believe that any top opponent will have a difficult time beating him while he is at his prime, since his defense is another overlooked part of his skill set. When he is in close proximity to his opponent, he would often protect with his high hand. Inoue will very quietly move backward or rotate when they're throwing blows, which will cause the punches to be less effective and less clean. He is also highly skilled at smothering his opponent when they get near to him as well as catching strikes with his arms both of which often result in his counterpunching them without being tied up. When they're close together, you will most often see him use a Philly shell shoulder roll or anything that is similar to Mike Tyson's peekaboo or high guard. Head movement is another significant component of Inoue's overall defense, and it is something that he has sought to improve so that he can avoid taking significant shots. Also, his footwork has been an increasingly important component in recent years, contributing significantly to the range at which he can shoot. Because of this, he may be a very difficult opponent to strike cleanly at times. Boxing with the Fists We'll wrap things up by seeing Inoue do what he does best, kill out his opponents with a devastating body blow. 
Now, everything that we have spoken about up to this point indicates how Inoue locates holes in the body. A good example would be to alternate between punching high and low, and generating angles while applying pressure. However, we are all aware that Inoue likes to go for the solar plexus, kidneys, or liver the most. The liver shot in particular is one of the most excruciating strikes you can take in boxing if it's landed precisely and with enough force. It causes instant tiredness and severe agony. Thus, it's not surprising that he strives for this shot. He's the greatest Japanese fighter of all time. Inoue is not yet well recognized in the United States. After all, he has only competed in the United States three times. The remainder of his fights have taken place in Japan, where he is revered as a national treasure. The vast majority of his most recent bouts have been aired live on ESPN+, but they have only been available early in the morning on the East Coast and early in the wee hours of the morning on the West Coast. Because of this lack of exposure, it's been difficult for Inoue to break through in the United States, but in Japan, there is no doubt about what he intends to say. He fights in front of capacity audiences in his own country which helps him gain significant gate earnings. Inoue consistently draws tens of millions, perhaps hundreds of millions of spectators, and in a country that is obsessed with boxing, he stands head and shoulders above the competition. Japanese boxing has a storied, century-old history. He's the best fighter ever from Japan, claimed Lou DiBella. The monster does not engage in any inappropriate behavior. You won't stand a chance against him unless you fight absolutely flawlessly. Simply said, he's a phenomenal boxer to witness in action. He added, Extremely High Boxing IQ Inoue is more than simply a ferocious fighter. In addition to having extraordinary athletic talents and knockout power in both hands, he also has the ring smarts to go along with those physical attributes. Dimitri Salita, a former contender in the junior welterweight division, got an up-close look at Inoue's boxing philosophy. Salita sponsored Antonio Nieves, Inoue's opponent for his U.S. debut and watched as Inoue toyed with the American on an HBO triple header in September 2017. He has very good boxing IQ, Salita said to ESPN. With Inoue, similar to Terence Crawford, he is an extremely excellent judge of distance and understands how to shift pace. He is skilled in the art of varying the force of his shots. He may sometimes unleash blows in order to calm down his adversaries and make them feel more at ease. He has several distinct tiers and degrees of power. He throws light shots and medium shots and relaxes his opponents so that they believe he's a decent puncher, but not a huge puncher. He's able to land his blows and switch between his different speeds while the fight is in progress and while the round is in progress. He can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a couple of milliseconds because of his incredible explosiveness, he added. The methodical approach that Inoue takes has also left an impression on Salida. From an early age, it seems as if he has been prepared, intellectually, physically, and spiritually, to be a fighter of exceptional caliber. When things become difficult and you're exhausted, he's able to draw on the education that he's had since he was a little child. To paraphrase what DeBella had to say about the matter, if you don't love this kid, you don't know anything about boxing. Please share your thoughts on whether or not you are familiar with Naoya Inoue and whether or not you believe he will become boxing's most recognizable figure in the next years. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.